Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial about how to set up 301 redirects in Squarespace. Now, if you'd like to know what a 301 redirect is and for all the reasons that you might use it, I have a blog post that goes alongside this video that I will link to in the notes below. So you can go and check that out if you're not sure what I'm talking about. But I'm just going to show you how to set one up. So let's say, for example, I no longer want to have a brand design page on my website, I'm gonna delete it or I might change it in the future, but for now I'm gonna get rid of it. And instead, when people click on any branding uh, page links that I've put either on my um, marketing materials or throughout social media, on Pinterest for example, I don't want them to just see a 404 error page like, oops, this page doesn't exist anymore. I don't want them to go there. I want them to go straight to my portfolio here um, so that it's relevant content and they can do something that's um, relevant to what that link would have been originally. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is just grab the tail end of the URL um, of the page that I'm getting rid of and I'm gonna copy that. You don't need to worry about the domain at the end because um, you can only set up 301 redirects for um, everything on the same domain anyway. So it's just assumed that it's gonna be the same uh, domain, which is the byrosanna.co.uk bit. I'm just gonna copy the tail end of that URL and I'm gonna to head to my Squarespace dashboard and I'm gonna to go to settings, advanced, URL mappings, and then you can see I've set up a few URL mappings before. There are also um, instructions here that Squarespace have written to, that you can follow along with as well. But I'm just gonna show you um, really simply how to do it. So I'm gonna start a new line and I'm gonna paste just the tail end of that URL here. And then I'm gonna follow their instructions and use what's um, this little arrow effect here by typing in a dash and then a right hand pointing arrow and then a space. So what that arrow means is it's saying, um, when someone goes to this link, you need to forward them to a brand new link. So I'm now gonna to go to the brand new link, I'm gonna to go to the portfolio page and just copy the tail end of that URL there. And then I'm gonna go back and paste that in. So that's not all you have to do. You then need to leave a space and just type 301. There are a few different types of redirects um, for websites. So you just need to make sure that you're specifying that this is a 301 redirect, which means the page has moved permanently. And this is the best practice for passing along page ranking and therefore the page is not um, the pages changing don't have an effect on your SEO. So um, that's the best way to do it. And that's really, really simple. Again, there are instructions here on how to do it if you would like. And then you just click save. So I'm gonna delete that quickly as well because I'm not actually um, moving those pages for now. So I'm gonna delete that. Um, it can take a few weeks for Google to register these changes as well. So don't worry if when you're typing into Google that page is still there and existing. Um, it can take a while for everything to update. Um, but that is basically how you would forward an old link that you don't want to exist anymore to a brand new one. And you can also do this if you're moving websites as well. So if you're changing to an old domain and you've got different pages that um, have a different uh, URL here or blog posts, for example, you can use this uh, for blog posts and for that as well. So you can see in some of my um, uh, existing three, uh, 301 redirects here, I've got, um, a blog post here that was called blog forward slash business plan for 2016 and then I've set up a forwarding to go to a brand new blog post that I've written called blog slash freelance business plan template because that wasn't relevant anymore and I wanted to forward it to a more relevant blog post and I wanted it to keep all its page ranking and SEO juice so that's why I set it up. So that's really really simple again it's just in settings advanced and then URL mappings. 